Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of hooded eyeshadow tutorials on my channel that are simple, informative, and achievable no matter what level of makeup you're at. So today I'm sharing with you this look right here using the ColourPop Just My Luck palette. A lot of you asked if I was going to pick this up and I did and I'm very happy I did because I was able to create something very outside of my comfort zone. So if you're like me and you tend to gear more towards the neutrals and the more reserved makeup, I think you'll enjoy this tutorial because I'm sharing with you my tips and tricks on how I can make a palette that has more bold colors rather than neutral colors if I can get it open, here we go, and how I can create a look that I feel comfortable walking out the door in. I think in 2019, Instagram makeup is absolutely beautiful, but it's not very wearable for the everyday woman, whereas this yes it's bright and yes it's a statement but it's still reserved and wearable where if you're like me you would feel comfortable walking out the door like this so we're only using two of the shadows in this palette like i said all matte look and i'm trying to use minimal brushes as always so if you are interested in seeing how i got this look right here using the ColourPop just my luck palette go ahead and keep watching all right you guys so to get things started since the just my luck palette that's thunder if you hear that it's raining super hard in Chicago but like I was saying since the just my luck palette doesn't have a soft brown color they do have this darker brown shade over here called act natural which I kind of wish they had it included more of a light brown shade for the crease because oftentimes when you're working with greens you're gonna want to go in with a soft brown but I do understand why they included it to kind of deepen a look up and it does complement those green shades it almost looks a little more green on camera that's kind of odd uh, but anyway I'm gonna go in with my physicians formula classic nudes palette and I'm just gonna take both of these brown shades on a wet and wild p20 brush and work that into my crease area so since I have hooded eyes I apply it above where my actual crease is kind of into more of the orbital bone area. I basically follow where the natural shadow is. When I look down, you can kind of see there's a natural shadow right here, and that's exactly where I'm gonna take that color. I'm actually gonna scoot in a little bit. I feel like I'm kind of far away from the camera. And once again, I'm not taking this a lot of times I take my shadow all the way into this area. I'm not doing that since the green is a lot for me. I don't typically go in with, even though this is kind of a dull green, it's a bright color for me. I don't want to take it all the way across my lid, so I'm really just kind of following the natural shape of my eye here. I'm also taking both of those colors on just a pencil brush. This is a MAC 219, and I'm going to work that under the eye as well. All right, so that really only took me about a minute. Obviously, I was talking a little bit through it, but that'll only take you a few seconds because you really just want a nice wash of color. You could see how that's just outlining my eye and giving me a little more depth. I love this Physicians Formula palette for that. Those two browns, if you have my kind of skin tone, or even when I have a really dark self-tanner on, that works for me as well. Pick this up. This is under $10, and I use it all the time. So now we're going to go into the Just My Look palette, and I'm going to go in with... Okay, I just realized I had called that dark brown shade Act Natural. The colors are listed right on the front here. Hello. Uh, the dark brown shade is actually called Charm, so just a side note on that. But we're going to go in with Kiss My Hass, which is the darker green of the two in the top row and I'm going to take that on a MAC 217. So I've kind of noticed as I was practicing yesterday for this look, the more you blend these shadows, it kind of takes away the pigment. So this is one of those palettes that you kind of have to accommodate how you apply makeup to, just like the subculture palette, that very controversial palette. The more you blended with that, that palette as well, the more it kind of got patchy and I'm finding that with this as well. So you can almost see it on this eye as well. Typically I like to blend a little more and have a really nice kind of faded out color. But with this palette, you can't really do that because it 
does start to get a little bit patchy. I haven't used this with anything like a P. Louise base, so that might help. I don't typically like to use those types of things. I just prime my eye with my concealer. But I did want to throw that out there. So I'm going to go in with Kiss My Hass. And like I said, there's kickback. So you're really going to want to flick off your brush. And then you want to keep a brush nearby to kind of swipe, even if you don't see anything. Because these little green particles kind of sneak up on you really quickly again as I was practicing yesterday I didn't think anything was falling out but there was so you'll just want to kind of swipe under your eye as you go through if you're using this palette and this is one that you will want to use something like a Laura Mercier to set under your eyes so it's easier to swipe that away so starting with the 217 I'm going to scoot in a little bit more here I am going to start that on my outer corner you can see how pigmented these shadows are as well which is probably why I don't know if they're pressed pigments I'd have to look into it but that's probably why there is kickback in the pan and then again with the patching typically that happens with pressed pigments in my experience but I'm going to keep this below my natural crease so you can see where my natural crease is I did apply that brown shade above I want to keep this below because again this is a brighter color for me I'm not typically used to going in with intense shades like this I'm more of a neutral kind of girl so I want to keep it below my crease so I don't start to look kind of like drag queeny Instagrammy makeup love that makeup to death but that's just not the look for me so I'm gonna slowly build this up and pull it inwards to basically where the blue part of my eye stops and then we'll go in with another shade. You could totally do this with a flat brush as well. I just like using the 217 because I can kind of blend as I go. And holy crap, it is raining so hard. You guys can probably hear that on camera. Okay, so I'm going to stop there for now. I just want to show you the pans. You can see how much kickback from going in repeatedly there is. So it's that shade right here. Please ignore my nails. I know they look horrible. I need to take this nail polish off. I've just been so busy. So there's lots of kickback in this pan. And you can also see right here in the outer corner where I kind of started to blend a little bit with the 217. You could see where that patchiness is happening. So that's kind of what I was talking about. Doesn't bother me too much though. So now I'm going to grab my flat brush. Brush. This is my MAC 239. You can use any flat flat brush. And I'm going to go in with Chances Are, which is the minty light shade in the palette. And I'm going to take that and put that basically where I haven't applied any eyeshadow yet. Before I do that, I'm going to take that fluffy brush actually and just swipe away, like I was saying, anything that may have fallen out that I couldn't see. And now we're gonna go in with chances are. And I'm going to kind of just build it up right to my crease and fade it into Kiss My Hass. And then taking that 217 I'm just going to kind of blur this line. Just like that. And then I'm going to grab a clean brush, rather clean. I was obviously blending on this eye before. This is just a Real Techniques blending brush. And I'm going to kind of start to blur the edges. Just make sure you go in with a different brush on the lighter shade because as I'm blending the darker shade if I was to bring that in it would bring darkness into that area and I want that area to stay light so for the more minty kind of area I'm going to use this MAC 224 <laughs> brush you could always just start to blend in this area too and then go to the outer corner like this Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that for now. We might go in and blend a little bit more. It is insane how much less hooded this eye is than this eye. It like blows my mind. But I do want to even everything out so I can get like an overall picture. So I'm going to take that pencil brush once again. I'm going to take Kiss My Hass. And I'm going to take that from outer corner again to basically where the blue part of my eye ends. And then I'm going to take Chances Are, the minty green shade, and 
kind of tuck it right around the corner into basically where the blue part of my eye starts. I do want to connect this to the outer corner as well. And again, I am using a different pencil brush to use the lighter shade, chances are. All right, and then I'm just gonna take the highlight I was using. I'm using the highlight shade in the Becca Chloe palette, and I'm going to put that right where I would apply my inner corner highlight. We might use something else later. I did it yesterday and I'm not sure how I feel about it. We might do it, we'll see. It's basically just a glitter from ColourPop that I picked up. Oh, that looks so pretty. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna take that MAC 224 and blend until I feel like this is nice and blended. <laughs> So remember how I was saying don't take the darker shade into the inner corner and blend. I just did that so you could see how it pulled that darker green shade in there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix it, but now you guys can see exactly what you shouldn't do. Just apply a little bit more of chances are. Now I feel like I have to do it to this eye to make it even. All right, and that is pretty much it for the most part. So I'm going to line my eyes. I'm using this Wet n Wild Mega Liner in Black Noir. I normally like my Essence Liner. I'm having trouble with this one. I'm totally out of my Essence Liner. So you can see on this eye, I kind of like smeared it a little bit in the inner corner, which is why I'm not gonna do this on camera because it's gonna take me a while because this is a like brush type of liner and I'm it's gonna take me a while. So I'm gonna apply this to my waterline for my lashes today. I'm using the Kiss Lacy Lashes. I love these lashes so much. I'm going to line my lower waterline with a nude liner since I do have hooded eyes and I'm using a more intense kind of shadow. I do wanna kind of make my eyes look a little more open I'll apply my Physicians Formula Glide on Gel Liner on my upper waterline so I can kind of have that darkness like I have going on right here. And then I will be right back here and show you what we will do for final touches. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, lashes and liner are on, and this is the completed look. I think this is beautiful. Just like I said in the beginning, it's bold, it's a statement, but it's still wearable for the everyday woman. So I did want to mention, if you did want to take it up a notch, you could go in with a glitter. So I picked up, when I picked up the Just My Luck palette, the ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed in the shade Wish Me Luck. I was playing with this yesterday, and it's a bit thick thicker than I'd like it to be. I'd like it to be a little more fluid so I can move it around, but I think it might be kind of fun to apply it to the inner corner to add kind of just a pop since we've got the all matte look. So I'm just gonna take uh, another ColourPop. This is not sponsored by ColourPop, but this is a ColourPop pencil liner. I'm gonna dip into there and I'm gonna kind of apply that right over the Becca highlight. So it's just kind of like, chunky when I pick it up you could see here it's just very chunky so I like to take that work it on the back of my hand and then go in so I'm just gonna kind of pop that right on the inner corner now when this dries down there are a lot of different reflex of glitter there's like purple there's pink there's almost like a peachy color it's it's a very interesting glitter so I'm still trying to get used to it but I just want to kind of show you what the extra pop of glitter would look like so you can see what that looks like if you did want to just spice it up a bit and add a glitter to the inner corner I think it looks just as pretty without but you know sometimes it's fun on days like St. Patrick's Day when you can kind of throw a little glitter on your face and no one's gonna look at you and say like are you going to the club or something you know what I mean so that is it for this one you guys I will leave all the rest of my makeup down below if you're interested in seeing what is on my face 
I hope this video was helpful to some of you. If you guys have any questions, as always, please leave them below. I try to respond to each and every one of your comments. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. I post every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central and every Sunday at 12 noon Central, except this video is going up on Friday because St. Patrick's Day is this Sunday and I wanted to get this out before Sunday in case you guys wanted a wearable St. Patrick's Day look. So thank you again for watching. I'll leave my Instagram down below as well if you're interested in following me on there. Otherwise, have a very safe St. Patrick's Day and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.